What's going on everybody? Today we're going to start a build series on my new Polaris Matrix Chaos 850, 155. Today we're going to start with cutting the tunnel down. We're going to go from the original Matrix down to the slash. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Let's get started. We're moving the bumper. There's 12 T25 bolts holding it together. Come down here to the ruler. Pull some measurements where we're going to cut her off at. The original matrix is a 27 and a quarter for your tail starts. And the matrix slash is going to be about 21 and three quarters. So we're going to measure some lines, make a template, and go from there. You got to drill these rivets out right here, all of these. Bunch of these ones here, a couple on the side, and the ones holding your uh, tail light wire channel underneath. It starts to spin like that. You want to use a pliers or a vice grips, clamp the bottom of them. Yeah. Zoom drilling. Just like that. Should come right out. Once you get these here drilled out, you want to drill these next eight out from underneath. I drilled them out and I took a grinder with an 80 grit sanding disc, just to finish off the heads a little bit, make it easier to separate. Make sure you wear your safety glasses while using a grinder. To remove the back half of the tunnel, gonna have to pry on it here, push down here, pull apart. Once you get done prying that off, set her off to the side, just like that. And you're gonna start pulling your measurements from this line here, back five and a half. Make a template next, and I'll go from there. And for a template, I just use blue painter's tape. Made my first piece of tape along the back, along this flat side edge here. And two little pieces on your angles going down here and around the sides. I did two layers of tape and took a knife and trimmed it to the shape you need. And I took a silver paint marker, marked straight lines back from your straight points on both sides, went back your five and a half inches, marked two lines in a straight line, and I took an angle finder, found the angle of back here, and transferred it up to here at Black Sharpie. Now you're gonna take the tape template, move it back so this edge is on this line. Once you get your template moved back, you wanna take your marker, you want to retrace the line of where you're going to cut. You can either remove the tape or leave it on. I'm going to leave it on in case the grinder slips a little bit. Maybe the tape will save it. 
scratching the rest of the tunnel. And you want to be careful when you're cutting through the middle, you got your brake wires, tail light wires coming through. I have mine tucked up a little farther back, so I should be okay. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to be careful going through that part of the tunnel. Make sure you wear your safety glasses and start cutting. Once you get the cut all cleaned up, you're going to want to cut off your wire protector about five and a half inches back from your new tunnel cut. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the tail light. You can do that before you start or now. Doesn't really matter. It's going to be a T30 bit. Move these two screws right here. Something like that. You don't want to unclick it. Just like that. Now you're going to, want to reinstall the end of your tunnel. I think it fits pretty decent. Can't complain. I just took two clamps I had and some foam from a set of A-arms I bought for a different sled just so I don't scratch the tunnel. Clamp it in place. You want to pull your brake and taillight wires out. You don't pinch them in there. And you want to start drilling holes to reinstall the rivets. All right, once you get this riveted back on right here and here, I decided to use bolts, the little screws instead of rivets. Just so if I ever want to take this off and make it shorter in the future, I don't have to drill the rivets back out, I can just re-bolt it. And underneath here, I reused the factory piece of aluminum that I cut off to give it a factory look and riveted that back on for your tail light wires. I think it turned out pretty decent. All right, let's put the bumper back on. Grab some bolts. You're gonna have to drill new holes for the remainder of the bumper. We're gonna use some blue tape, mark them out. Take that and push against it. Grab a marker. Kind of eyeball up the center so you know where it's at. Take your bumper back off now.
you can see this here, when you push on your bumper, it's gonna leave indentation on the tape where the pop rivet is on the back side of the bumper. It's gonna find center. You're gonna re-drill. Remove your tape. You want to repeat the same process on the other side. Already right, did earlier. Grab your bumper. Reinstall it. Alright, we're gonna reinstall the tail light. Plug it back in. You wanna take the extra wire, and you wanna tuck it up inside here like this. that side so I can see a little better. Alright, that's 
that. I'm not gonna install the two screws here yet. I'm not sure what I wanna do in the bracket down here. But I think it should be fine for okay, okay for now. We're gonna cut the snow flap down next. Come around here. I think for now I'm just gonna cut it right here. I may go shorter. I may buy a slash snow flap in the future, but for now we're just gonna cut it. Using the grinder. And we're gonna back up a little bit. Around the set over here. That is it for the tunnel cut. I think it turned out pretty good. So if this helps you out in any way, give a like, subscribe, comment. Stay safe out there. See you guys later.